What's going on guys, Namer JP here and I'm back with another One Piece Treasure Cruise video and in today's video we're going to be talking about the brand new Zoro Joro treasure map that's going to be coming out tomorrow in the early morning. So today I'm going to be doing some free to play teams. This is the first time that I'm going to be doing this so if you would like me to continue doing this in the future let me know and I will be fine with doing these teams. So without further ado let's look at the first thing that we want to look at. So the first thing we're going to look at is the invasion. So the invasion is going to be Zoro Joro. And on the first stage, we're going to be faced with blindness for five turns and we're going to be hit with, um, well, stage two actually. We're going to be hit with blindness for five turns and we're also going to be hit with three turns of percent shield damage reduction. And at the start, um, Brooke only has a little lower than 500k HP, and we're going to be facing Zoro Joro on the first turn, who has no buffs right, debuffs right here, so that's good, but he has five turns of chain lock, the blindness that comes over from the previous stage, and then he's going to make um, quick sigh and I think strength warps, non-beneficial, um, if I remember correctly, and... Yeah, so the team that's going to be free to play that you can run for this team for this stage is going to be um, the Treasure Map Luffy. Treasure Map Luffy is a really good captain. He's a 3.25x captain for all characters, and then he reduces paralysis for one turn. He is a 2x orb booster, and he gives full board of matching orbs. Um, ideally, you want to run a uh, friend captain or captain if you have them. Um, uh, of either Kid or Hawkins, either of these two characters would be good. Kid would be really nice because with the full board of orbs, you can change those orbs from Luffy Special into Bomb Orbs, so then you'll have his um, 5x Captain ability, and then you'll also have the 2x attack, 2.5x attack boost, so that's really good. Luchi is going to be really good. He is a uh, HP cutter, and then he's also going to give a 1.75x color affinity for your crew. Otoko's a really good character because she, um, not on this stage, but um, actually on the Brook stage, she's going to remove the percent shield, so that's going to be really great for us. And then she's also going to give adjacent matching orbs, which is going to be really good for you guys as well. And then Osoba Mass is going to be good as well because he gives a chain boost and then if you hit your three perfects in the following turn, you'll give a 1.1x chain boost, so that'll be really nice if you use this character on Brook. And then in the following turn, you'll have a much higher chain boost. And Judge, um, he is pretty replaceable on this team. He's just here to remove the chain lock for on the Zoro Joro stage. There are a couple other chain lockers that removers that you can use, but I um if you have like X Strike for example, you can use him instead, but and also you can use um let's see. You can also use the treasure map VV but um She's not popping up right here because I guess it's on a different team. But yeah, ideally I would probably use Treasure Map VV for another team if you are planning to run a full free-to-play team. But yeah, that's it for um, the Invasion Zoro Joro. Next boss we're going to be facing is Usohachi. And Usohachi, he is going to have either a three-hit Great Barrier or he's going to have a side Warp Barrier. So the team, we're going to be running the same team as um, the one that they present. Luffy, he is a 1.75x attack booster and he's going to be a 3.5x captain, so he's going to be really good for this. Zoro, he's going to be your 1.75x orb booster, which is going to be good. Sanji is going to be great because he's going to be a 2.5x chain locker for your crew. Frankie's going to be good for this because he's your 1.75x color affinity. And then Nami just gives you um, adjacent orbs as matching. So you'll have a full board of orbs and you'll be able to clear Usohachi really, really easy. So you don't have to really worry with that team. 
Next up, we're going to be facing Carrot, and Carrot's going to put four turns of percent damage reduction, and she's also going to give you four turns of attack down. So the team we're going to be using to tackle that is going to be a six plus Nami team as our friend captain. She's a four X attack booster if you have a matching orbs, but otherwise she's a three point seven five X attack booster for Dex characters. Uh, we also have is um, Kizaru who is. Uh, 2.5x captain, but he's gonna give us our attack boost of 1.75x. And since our captain is gonna be Kazaro, it's gonna be for Dex character, so we'll have a three turn 1.75x attack boost for our Dex characters. And he's also gonna give a slight HP cut, so it's gonna be really nice for against Kurt. We have Law, who is going to the Wano Law, if you did farm him, he's gonna remove percent damage reduction by two turns, pair it with the um, Coliseum Magellan, who also removes um, percent damage reduction by two turns. Unfortunately, we can't utilize his conditional boost of poison, but we still will be able to take him down relatively easy. And then we have the Nico Robin, who's gonna remove three turns of attack down, and she's also gonna give us a matching orbs and this Donald is also going to remove um, attack down as well so we'll completely remove it with the this combo and he also gives matching orbs for your top row so you'll always have a full board of orbs basically with this team and you also have a chain boost with law so you should be killing carrot most of the time as long as you hit your perfects and whatnot so that's going to be that team against carrot the next team we're going to be facing against is Onami, and Onami is going to put four turns of threshold damage reduction. She's going to put five turns of increased defense, and that's going to be it. She's also going to have immunity against defense down conditional boost. So for this team, we're going to be using King. I hope that you guys farmed up King because King is going to be really great for this. So. King is going to delay Nami and he's also going to remove the increased defense for us. He's also a 3x dex captain, so he's going to be pretty good for this overall. He's also going to give a 1.75 delay conditional boost since he's a dex character and he is your captain, so that's going to be really great for this. We have the Zoro Sanji Dulya. He's going to be a 2.5. 25 orb booster for us and also if we swap we will also get a 1.5x chain boost i believe so he's gonna be really nice for this bonnie's gonna be great because she removes five turns of threshold damage reduction and she's also gonna give us a full board of orbs so that's gonna be really nice and then we have sir crocodile who's gonna give a um a chain boost no, he doesn't give us a chain boost because our captain is in striker cerebral. But um, um, we just are gonna use um crocodile just because he's a dex character, and as sure how she is only here because she's a 1.35 x um booster for the treasure map, so she's gonna be decent for that. Next up, we're gonna be facing Osoba masks, and Osoba mask he just puts three turns of um chain down i believe he also um puts on paralysis so for the team that we're going to be using we're going to be utilizing the six plus garb who's going to give us a 3.25x chain lock and also going to give a 30 percent hp cut which is going to be really nice we're going to be using vv as our captain and if you use her special, she becomes a 3.75x captain, which is going to be really great because her special is going to remove the chain. If you, we use her special, we can also remove the chain down and we'll also get an attack boost. So if you use her special twice in a row, she gets a 2x attack boost for everyone. But if you use it once, you get a 1.75x attack boost. So very similar to legends like Osoba mask, so she's gonna be really nice for this. We have Zoro Jaro who's gonna remove paralysis for us and resilience, but I don't think we need to worry about resilience in this stage. Cavendish, he's only here because he's a 1.25x 
um, booster for the treasure map, and he's a side unit, so that's going to be good. Otama, she's going to be decent to give us, if we have badly matching orbs, potentially, she'll change them to matching orbs, which is going to be really nice. And then... The Smoothie Oven Dual Unit are going to be great because they are 2x or booster for Psy and Quick Character, so they will boost the orbs for our team. And finally, against the final boss, Law, we're going to be facing against Chopper on Stage 4. And on Stage 4, Chopper is going to give us 5 turns of Chain Down. And then on Stage 5 against Law, we're going to be hit with 3 turns of Threshold Damage Reduction. We're going to be hit. He's going to have an enraged attack for three turns as well. So what we want to do here is um, bring the same team that we brought against Zora Joro. We can use Judge on stage four against Chopper because he will remove that chain down for us, which is really nice. And we'll also have a color fanny boost, which would be great. And then against Law, we want to use... Um, Rob Lucci because he's going to remove the threshold for us. He's also going to give us a 1.75x chain boost for our dex characters, which is going to be great. Um, Luffy is going to be good here because in case our characters get binded, um, he's going to remove the bind for us. And um, what else? Oh, Silver Mask is going to be great as well because he's going to be a chain boost as well. And he's also going to HP cut. And he's going to give us a full board of orbs with, um, what's his name? With Kid as a friend captain because those TND orbs are going to, does he give TND orbs? Um, no, he gives full board of orbs, never mind. But still, um, if we use Kid's special, we're going to get a 2.5x attack boost with the full board of orbs changing into bomb orbs. So that's going to be really great there. And is there anything else I'd like to mention? I think that's all, so... Um, oh, also, I forgot to mention, I think on Zoro Joro, um, he's going to give us block orbs. So, um, against him, we're going to want to use Kid's super typing ability first, and then we'll pop all the rest of our specials. So, I think that's all I want to mention. Um, finally... If you have any of these legends, of course, you can use them on your teams. For example, like um, Rayleigh, you can always use them on your current team. You can use Luffy Law on your Onami team. You can use um, Neko Inu on your Sobermas team, as well as um, V2 Snake Man will work well on either this team, this team, or this team. You can use, you can put Sabo on. Um, any of these teams and these two legends as well you can put them on any of these teams if you just need an additional 3.5x booster um these characters of course i would definitely use them on your um highest point boosted teams if possible especially um x strike because he works really well he removes all the chain downs and chain locks so he's gonna be really great on the wall variation and the uh, Zoro Joro variation and page one works really well on the carrot to remove the attack down but that's it for me if you guys want to see more free play teams for the upcoming treasure maps let me know in the comment section below and let me know if this video was helpful thanks for watching and i'll see you later goodbye